Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub again, and this is the final part of the Kappa method video where I'm going to show you the comparative importance improvement analysis, the Kappa method, how we implement it, okay? So as we have already discussed in the third video, third part of the video, where we have shown how we derive from the IPA to the AB, so importance performance to importance improvement, okay? But now we are going to discuss how we derive to Kaba, the comparative importance improvement analysis. So here, one of the tricky thing is that, you know, we look into the importance gap and we look into the performance gap, okay? And here we need two parties, as I mentioned before. So we need the importance rating from the manufacturers and the logistic service provider. We need the improvement gap from the manufacturers and also from the LSPs. So how much improvement is needed that needed by the LSPs from the perspective of manufacturers and how much improvement is needed from the LSPs from the perspectives of LSPs themselves, okay? So this is what we want to see. And for importance, how much important is it for the manufacturer from the manufacturer perspective and also how much important is it for the manufacturer from the LSP perspective, okay? So that's what we are mainly dealing with here, okay? So the importance is focusing on the manufacturer here, okay? And the improvement needed is from the LSPs, okay? But the rating are done by both parties for both of them, okay? So here, what do we do? We calculate the importance gap. Manufacturer importance rating minus the LSP importance rating. Then we can actually find out the gap there, okay? So let's say if manufacturer importance average is four for a particular variable or, or factor, and the LSP is five, okay? So the importance gap will be negative one, right? So basically the LSP estimate is higher, okay? So the manufacturers, if manufacturers is lower than LSP's estimate, it will come in this quadrant. If manufacturer, if, if the importance is higher than LSP's esti estimate, then it will come in this, uh, this, this quadrant here, okay? Similarly for improvement gap. So here we want improvement gap from the LSP's perspective. So let's say manufacturer gave import improvement rating of let's say four, and LSPs gave important rating of let's say six. So it's minus two, okay? The importance gap is minus two. So the importance gap here is lower than LSPs estimate. So that re reflects with the, the low priority here, okay? Right, and if it was uh, if it was higher than LSP's estimate, I, if it was, <laughs> so yeah. When I'm just repeating it again, so here uh, actually I think it's better if I just try to write it here. Okay, let's try to write it here. Okay, so let's say here we got a value uh, of MB, so manufacturers. MB minus we are doing with LSP B, right? So manufacturer's average is let's say four minus LSP average is six. So we get minus two, right? So here we see that we, we have to think about like, is it lower than LSP estimate or not? So it is actually manufacturer's perspective is lower than LSP estimate, okay? So minus two negative values corresponds to this cell here. If it was the other way around, so let's say it was six and this was four, so then uh, manufacturer's perception of the improvement is higher than the LSP's estimate, it would actually correspond to this cell here, okay? So if, if the values are positive, then it corresponds to here. So the negative values, negative values here, positive values here, okay, higher and lower. Okay, and in this case, so importance gap, again, if we use four minus five, minus one. So here, is it higher than, importance gap higher than LSP's estimate or not? No, so it's actually corresponding to, again, from this side also negative, okay, 
yeah t and from here it will be so if it was five minus four so it would be plus one here so it's higher than a list piece estimate so the positive ones comes here okay so that's how uh, we would interpret it so here it would mean um, positive on this side negative on that side okay and so on and here positive from positive and negative also yeah and in this one will be critical ones this one will be positive 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 okay so the value should be like the importance gap would be higher than lsp's estimate and also the improvement gap will be higher than lsp's estimate okay so both of them required uh, more than LSPs. So that's when we would know that these are really critical resources that LSPs uh, have to improve and manufacturers are looking for from the LSPs, okay? So I hope now it's a bit more clear when we write it down, right? So now we are going to see how we can implement it, okay? So this is one of the figures that we will try to remake from the paper. This is only for DAC. So in the paper, you will see we have done it for DAC and also for India and so on. Okay, so we'll try to remake this one only for the dark one, and we will follow this framework, right? And we'll see how we can do it. Also in this method, we suggest that you do also um, the independent samples t-test, okay, to see if the differences are statistically significant or not. Uh, but I'm not going to show that in this part of the video. I'm mainly going to show you in this part of video how to derive this figure, okay? Maybe in a later video, I might cover it uh, because independent samples t-test is very common. If you search, uh, you will find a lot of videos. We have our videos also on YouTube. So, but uh, this, uh, this approach is new and this is unique. This is a new method proposed in our paper. So that's why we want to show this in detail, okay? So now let's have a look how we are going to implement it. So here I'm working on the template that I've been preparing. You know, first I have shown IPA, then I have shown AB. Now I'm showing the Kaba only for the dark part here. So to show Kaba for the dark part, we will need importance rating from the manufacturers for dark, improvement rating from manufacturers for dark. Then we need LSP from dark and importance LSP from dark and improvement LSP from dark. Okay. So I have copied the mean values from here. In the part three video, I have shown the original data and then we calculate the means. And here we basically see the means for the 17 operant research resources, okay? So here, first of all, we have to calculate the importance gap. So importance rating by manufacturers minus the LSP, okay? So to do that, we just importance rating by the manufacturer minus the importance rating by the LSPs, okay? That's it. And we, if we reduce the number of decimals, so yeah, and then we can just drag it down, okay? So we got our importance gap values, okay? So here, just to relate again, so here we got a negative value, right? So the negative value means that imports rating by LSP was higher than importance rating by DAC for managerial skills here. So the manufacturers, estimate was lower than LSP's estimate. It relates to this part, this part of the quadrant here, okay? Um, so, but it depends on also whether it will go here or here, that depends on the improvement part, right? So we also calculate the improvement gap. So here again, we do the manufacturer's improvement minus the LSP improvement, okay? And then we also make it reduce the decimal points to up to three decimals then we drag it down, okay? So here we have negative and negative, okay? So that would means it would be actually, it will actually fall here. Uh, trivial resources are possible overkill. So that will be the quadrant for uh, this, this first one, okay? So now let's see how we can actually make it a figure, right? So here, let's say we also add, maybe we, we add, Dark in the beginning, and we also add dark here. Um, yeah. 
No, basically we have to plot them in a scatter plot. So we select both of them. We go to insert. Here we could have just taken a scatter and plot it here. So we have the plot seed plot here. Okay. Now, one of the first thing we have to do is we can uh, rewrite the name. Okay. So we can say Kaba Da. Let's say we call it this for now. Maybe it's better to actually use the full term, the comparative importance improvement analysis. Okay. But let's say for now we keep it like this. You know, the cool thing about this approach is that you now don't really have to do here anything with the mean values. You see, it's already set up in a quadrant format. So basically, you don't really have to do anything here. Okay. So that's the best part of the these uh, analysis instead of only the AB analysis and also only the uh, importance performance analysis. Okay. Now we want to have the names of the factors. So we go to chart design, we go here, we go to data levels, uh, add additional data levels. Here we untick this one, we take cell from value. So here we can either pick the names or we can pick the numbers. So let's say now we pick the names, okay, and see if it works. So here you can see, this is how the figure looks like. So with the names, it becomes a bit messy, but I mean, the figure works, right? And if we make it a bit bigger, yeah. Maybe it was better with the, with the, with the, with the names. Now let's try to compare this with our original figure here. Okay, so if we go to our uh, plot here, and then if I paste it as an image, here it is. So here you see Geo Network was here. It was also here. Okay, and and the same ones. Okay, so the plot is done properly, but here we can do some improvements in the plot, and to do that we can actually like. Uh, add, add the quadrant names. So let's say here we can again go to data, uh, not, not data, we go to insert, we go to add text. Here we call it Q3 low priority here, and then we make it bold. Then copy, paste, control C, control V, then we put it here. Call it critical. Then we put those here. Call it Q2 key strands. Then last one, control C, control V. We put them here. We call it trivial or possible overkill. Okay. So that's how it looks like. If we want to add X and Y axis values, which we can also do. So we simply select the figure, we go to chart, we go to x-axis titles, primary horizon here. We call it importance gap. And then we go again and the vertical axis, we are going to call it improvement gap. Okay. So this is how you will have your Kava framework, okay? And I'm going to put, yeah, again, we, 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 we have to group this. We have to group the figure and the titles here. Here I have to update it a little bit. It will be Q3 or Q4. Big 
group them, then we can move them together nicely, right? Yeah. Didn't work. Now it works, yeah. So I'm going to put this template on the Research Hub website. If you go to all products or explore products here, so we have this uh, place on the website where we have different digital products and codes and data. So for example, yeah, it's loading, it's taking uh, a moment. So here, here on the digital download section, here you will find this template for um, download, okay? And one last thing is that how really we use this quadrant for decision making. So here we have we we have uh, this framework, proposed framework. Actually, we can actually use this proposed framework for this. So here you see one level could be no gap. So there is no gap uh, in the importance and there is no gap in the improvement. So there is no gap. Nothing should be done. OK, aligned. The two parties, whether it's manufacturers or logistics performance, whether you're doing in the context of a hospital where you're doing dealing with doctors and patients, or you know when whether you're doing it in an organization while looking into employer and employee perspective. Um, so regardless of what perspective you're looking into, there if there is no gap, no action is needed. If there is gap in uh, importance, so significant gap in importance, no gap in improvement, we call that importance gap. So we would normally reevaluate the importance associated with the attribute and align with the benchmark. And then on the an another situation is that we don't have any importance gap. Importance are aligned, but then we have improvement gap. Then we have two strategies here. So first is that if the gap, if the value of this uh, gap is negative. So that would mean unmet expectation. And then we have to take action to improve the Q1 first and then Q3, okay? And if the gap is negative for beta, uh, de 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 for del beta, uh, del B, uh, del uh, improvement. So then basically it means that we, we are kind of doing better than the benchmark. So we would normally try to sustain what we're doing in key strengths. Um, and also we will then slowly shift focus if we have enough resources and so on, then we'll focus um, the, uh, focus on the Q4, okay? And if there is a gap in both cases, we can just revisit the total strategy, okay? So here from the figure, we can see uh, these different quadrants, okay? But for significance level, we, we can also do the independent samples t-test or uh, the man whitney u test if your sample size is small. And then actually we can also see if the gaps are significant. In our paper, the published paper, we did both the figure, but we also reported the uh, t-test and so on. So for example, here you see the gaps, whether it was negative, negative, uh, or like, yeah, and um, and the significance level. So th those things we, we reported here, okay? So good luck. Uh, I hope now you will be able to implement uh, this uh, method in your papers. If you have any queries or if you're wondering about something, just uh, mention in the comments below. We will try to get back and uh, reply as soon as we can. Good luck. Bye-bye.